Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Gary here, GZ Duels. Trying to do this duel for, like, <laughs> trying to do the voice for this duel for the ninth time. And every time I do it, I just keep finding myself sounding really, really angry at this guy. Because this is basically an instructional video on how not to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, this guy just misplayed to the max. And I just want to share with you guys how terribly he killed himself in the end because of his misplays. So I'm going to break down all of his misplays turn by turn, starting with his first turn. So he, I have a set card on the field. This is a set monster, okay? And he has a Rhino Rabbit in his hand. And he sets three back row before he enters battle phase. And I was thinking, if you just summon the Wind Up Rabbit without the back row and just attack into my Raikou, my Raikou, when it targets your Wind Up Rabbit, your Wind Up Rabbit can chain the effect and basically you know, evade being destroyed. And then main phase two, you could set the three back row and your three back row would be protected. But no, I'm going to set the three back row before I attack so that you can help me destroy my mirror force. That's probably what he's thinking right now. It's embarrassing. Don't play like that. This is also not a good idea. Don't solemn judgment a 400 attack monster that can't even kill your wind up rabbit. A 400 attack monster the most that it could do is mill three cards and probably draw one card for me the next turn. Don't Solemn Judgment that. Because you need the Solemn Judgment in order to protect the heavy back row that you set from the heavy storm that I have. But since you wasted it, when it's my turn, I could basically know that you don't have any protection for your back row, and I'm going to play the heavy storm and just get a plus one because you squandered 4,000 life points. <laughs> yeah. Don't play like that, guys, seriously. And I'm seriously restraining myself because I don't want to sound angry because I'm seriously angry at this player because <laughs> he's pretty bad. And I'm trying to make light of this situation by making it instructional, but it really, it was painful for me to watch. This is another misplay that he did on this turn. Okay, so I have four cards in my hand, right? And he has tour guide and he's going to go for another tour guide. Instead of, you know, exceed summoning first, Maybe into a Leviathan Dragon, like I would have done, or maybe a Zen Mains if he wanted to be more safe. He decided to attack with Tour Guides. Okay, so I dropped Trag. What are you going to do now? Now, see, if I had, if he had gone for a Leviathan Dragon, what he would have done would, would be to attack with a Wind-Up Rabbit first. I would have chose to not to drop Tragodia because his Leviathan Dragon can just run over to Tragodia. And I would have taken the 2,500 damage from the Leviathan Dragon before I dropped Tragodia. I would have taken way more damage than just this 1,000 from this little tour guide right here. And I would have just had a Trag on the field. Um, so, yeah, he didn't exceed summon. You know, it could be player preference. Like, you know, I could, I could give him that. But I cannot excuse this move. He decided to exceed summon for Acid Golem. Really, Acid Golem. When Leviathan Dragon would do the same job. Like, Leviathan Dragon's 2,500 attack when you use this effect to detach, right? And when I draw a card, the most that my uh, Trigodia can get is 2,400 attack. And, and what am I going to do? I'm just going to pass the turn off to you because you, you can just run over it with Leviathan Dragon. Which, if you wanted, you could make a 3,000 attack on your turn too. But no, he's going to go for an Acid Golem because an Acid Golem sounds like a good idea. <laughs> uh, uh, be especially because you paid 4,000 life points for a Solemn Judgment, which you didn't need to do. And uh, you are going to squander your life points away by paying 2,000 during your standby phase in order to keep this Acid Golem alive. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> okay, so I normally summon Lila. I was thinking maybe I should just attack over the Acid Golem. But I really had a change of heart when he's when his acid golem attacked my Lila. I didn't drop the honest because guys, I I just thought it would be be helpful to this player. It would be helpful to him if I didn't drop honest and get rid of the problem that he caused for himself. It would be helpful, uh, more helpful for him to learn from his mistake if his mistake cost him the game. So I decided not to make any plays other than stall plays. So at this point, you know, I drew into Valor. What I could have done was, you know, activate Mystical Space Typhoon, destroy his back row, and then use the Valor to Synchro Summon with the Trigodia in order to go to Star Form Dragon. And Star Form Dragon has 3,200 uh, attack and would have had significant uh, advantage on the board. But I didn't do that because I just wanted his Acid Golem to kill himself. I, I, ho I hope he learns from this. And I hope you guys can, you know, <laughs> take away something positive from this. I did this commentary nine times um i recorded it nine times and every time i at the end of the video i i, I 
re-listen to what I taped over and I just find myself being so angry and I'm trying to restrain myself not to be angry I'm trying to like be cheerful about learning rather than uh, criticizing this player on his place hopefully we can turn something negative into a positive hopefully <laughs> but it's kind of hilarious and embarrassing really if if you guys are into that I'm pretty sure you'll like this video uh, yeah so I draw into you know nothing useful but I have a play that will just basically win the game for me. I'm going to uh, basically Mystical Space Typhoon, his back row right there, the new one that he set, so that he cannot change the game state uh, like it was a turn ago. Uh, I'm afraid that his um, back row could be something that could potentially help him get rid of the Acid Golem. That would be kind of sad for me. <laughs> but he didn't do that, so I MST it. And the uh, MST card was a Dimension Prison. So I was like, yep, you know what I tell you. <laughs> uh, so I'm just basically going to set the Honest because neither uh, neither the uh, Wind Up Shark or the Rabbit could get over the 1,900 defense that I have. So during the standby phase, the Acid Golem effect is going to activate, of course, and he has to detach a material unless he wants to pay the 2,000 life points and die. <laughs> so he's going to detach material, which means he can no longer attack with Acid Golem, and he can no longer special summon with the Wind Up Shark and the Wind Up uh, Rabbit. Okay, so he's going to go into battle phase. This is his last ditch, uh, last ditch attempt at winning. He's going to attack, and he's going to attack into my Honest, take 500 damage. And when it's my turn, I'm just going to pass, and he's going to get burned during the standby phase with his own Acid Golem. So I hope this was helpful. <laughs> I hope this was informational. Please don't play like him. 